Over the years, we have seen last ball finishes in the IPL. Some finishes have been so dramatic where batsmen have done the impossible by chasing huge targets in the final stages of the game. Which is why having a finisher in every T20 side has become mandatory for teams these days. If we see every team has a finisher in their side who has the ability to hit the ball out of the park from ball 1, whether it's Hardik Pandya or Andre Russell, every finisher has one job in their hands and that is to finish the game off for their side. The importance of finishers in T20s as well as demand for them have gone up drastically over the years. A team usually picks one or two finishers in their playing 11 since T20 is an unpredictable format. As teams with a finisher in their side are more likely to win matches since they have someone to rely upon who can hit quick fire runs at the back end of the match. Let's take a look at the top 5 finishers to watch out for in the upcoming IPL. First up is MS Dhoni. Dhoni finishes off in style. We have heard this phrase more than once in last 10 years. That's the kind of player Dhoni is. Since he has built a consistent reputation of winning matches for his team from impossible situations. Similarly, he has been doing the same since few years for his IPL franchise. People talk about Dhoni not being able to be the same finisher he was a few years back but his 2018 and 2019 IPL record shows another story to it. Mostly batting in the end overs, Dhoni averaged 75 and 83 in 2018 and 19 respectively. Moreover, he finished matches during this period striking at a strike rate of over 150. Even this year, we expect Dhoni to finish matches for CSK as fans eagerly wait for their Thala to return to the cricket field after one year. Next up is Harlik Pandya. The ace all-rounder Harlik Pandya is known to be Dhoni's successor for the finisher's role in the Indian Limited Overside. But off late, he has been involved in a lot of off-the-field controversies. To add to that, Harlik has been out of action since last one year owing to an injury. As we approach this year's IPL, we would expect Harlik to make news by finishing matches for Mumbai Indians. He cannot get a bigger platform than the IPL to showcase why he is the rightful successor of MS Dhoni going into the future. Pandya will be accompanied by West Indies veteran Kyron Pollard out in the middle for most finishes this year. Since they complement each other so well, Harlik should learn the art of finishing matches from Polar himself. We hope to see Harlik hit big in this year's IPL, hopefully putting down some match-winning performances for the Mumbai Indians. Another star finisher we should watch out for is the all-rounder from Australia, Glenn Maxwell. He has been out of form lately, but despite the dip in his form, he is regarded as one of the most dangerous and ruthless batsmen in T20 cricket at the moment. Initially, Maxwell bursted into the international circuit because he possessed the ability to go after the ballers from ball 1. His best IPL performance came in for Kings XI Punjab in 2014 when he scored 552 runs in 16 matches. But post that season, Maxwell's form dropped and averaged less than 20 in the next two seasons. Even though he averaged just 18 in 2018, Maxwell was snapped up by Kings XI Punjab this year for 1.5 million US dollars. Besides his sublime batting, Maxwell is also a brilliant fielder and is a part time off spinner. He's unlikely to ball this year since Punjab have Mujibur Rahman and Krishnapa Gautam in their side. It is expected that Maxwell will make it to the playing 11 from first game itself and will play the role of a finisher for the Kings XI Punjab franchise this year. When we talk about finishers, how can we not talk about Andre Russell? Andre Russell is the most lethal batsman in T20 cricket right now. He is considered one of the most dangerous batsmen since he goes hard after the ballers in no time. Since Russell possesses the experience of playing T20 cricket all around the world, he carries lots of experience with him. Ever since returning from getting suspended by the ICC, 
Russell has looked a different player altogether. He is seen in batting positions from 3 to 7 depending on the situation of the match. He is used as a pinch hitter, finisher and even as a floater at times. Russell is regarded as one of the hottest property in T20 cricket for his sheer ability to tear the opposition's ballers apart in no time. Over the years, he has won matches for KKR single-handedly and we expect him to do the same this year. Russell will enjoy playing at Dubai and Sharjah short boundaries as we expect him to hit big this season. The last finisher to watch out for is Rishabh Pant. The young wicketkeeper batsman Rishabh Pant is touted as MS Dhoni's successor for the wicketkeeper's role in the Indian side. Over the years, we have seen how aggressive Rishabh Pant is as a player but hasn't been able to quite replicate his IPL success in international cricket. But when we talk about his IPL performances over the years, Pant has been instrumental in winning matches for Delhi. Pant's best IPL season was in 2018 when he averaged 52, striking at a strike rate of over 160. Talking about the very recent 2019 IPL season, Pant scored 488 runs in 16 matches for the Capitals. On the flip side, Pant should put up a greater show this year since he has to prove a point to the Indian selectors. Incidentally, he was recently dropped from the limited oversight in favour of Kings XI Punjab captain KL Rahul.